were devastated. I mean, we were gutted. Just like I walked in, I was like, is it true? It was a kind of a bitter pill to swallow. Just sat there in his office, like not even saying a word for a good 20 to 30 minutes. Players live for this, fans wait all year for this. There's a bigger problem out there. It's grown to be such a, a national issue. It just came time for us to put everything in perspective. It's still a crushing blow for everybody. We had to accept that and deal with it. It's like unreal, it's never happened before. Life isn't fair. Coach Joe Mihalik, Eli Pemberton, and Tariq Coburn. Coach, an opening statement about tonight's game, please. We got what we deserved. We got what we deserved. We didn't deserve the win. The way we put it, we, just, we weren't tough enough. I mean, we always talk about how this game honors toughness. We didn't have the toughness. We didn't have the fight that, 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 uh, that, that you should have. Um, yeah, we turned. And we got just what we deserved tonight. So these guys got to remember, it's not last year anymore. UCLA's best, but Hofstra is pretty good. And they're probably going to win their league. So a well-coached team, a veteran team that came in here and won one. And I think DeJour had 29 in that game and Jalen had 27. But it was making big shots, making big plays, both ends of the floor, and, and just proving that, that uh, you know, that we had the character and the talent uh, to be a championship team. CAs are a battle. Like, you know, compared to other conferences, it's just – it's a dog fight every game. It doesn't matter who you play. Some people texted me and were like, oh, how do you feel playing against Northeastern again? Are they going to – I'm like, Northeastern's a great team. I always think they're one of the best teams in the conference every year just because their coach is great. They always play great defense. They play hard. But I wanted to play them. Just because I felt like it would be bittersweet just to, like, beat them in the championship. That clock struck zero. I, I don't even think I don't even think I ran out on the court because I think I was just like so shocked. I was like, wow, we just won. NCAA is now canceling its basketball tournaments, men and women. News last night that the NBA is going to suspend play indefinitely because one of their players had contracted this virus. The NCAA tournament has been canceled. But for those who play the game and live the game, reality bites. And then Thursday at 4 o'clock, 43 hours later, you know, we were told the tournament was canceled. So we were devastated. I, ha I happened to be uh, in, 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 the, in the coach's locker room. Literally, just, I just got down to the shower and getting ready to head back up to the office. But I got a call from him. I remember it uh, exactly. So <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. So. Thursday afternoon, I remember I was with Harry Hughes. And, the, we were, and we were helping our friend actually move out because classes just got canceled. A real soccer player comes and said, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. And we like, like, we just heard. And they said, oh, you heard that the tournament was canceled. And I remember I had something in my hand. I just like dropped it. And I just like went and sat down in one of the lounges. I remember, I, and I was just quiet for like 10 minutes. And then I just got up and left. And I just went to uh, Coach Fairley's office. And I just like at, walked in. I was like, is it true? And he's like, yeah. And then I remember me and Coach Fairley just sat there in his office like not even saying a word for a good 20 to 30 minutes. And it just came time for us to put everything in perspective. You know, about my battle cry to the team was, life isn't fair. You know, we, you guys deserve to go somewhere. You're not going to get to go. Uh, but you still want a championship. The last thing we did this year was climb up a ladder with a pair of scissors, cut down the nets, and leave the court, you know, with our championship hats on and nets hanging around our necks. Our necks. Um, and, uh, you know, we had to understand there was, a, there was a bigger problem out there. There was a world pandemic. And, 
you know, health, everybody's health. The whole world's health is more important than basketball games and NCAA tournaments. And uh, we had to accept that and deal with it. And if we were going to be able to be part of, a, part of a solution to a very big problem by not playing the tournament, then we just had to accept that. Well, we're excited. I think we have a great bunch of guys coming back. We're going to, just like we missed Justin Wright for him last year, and Jaquiel Taylor and Denny Dwyer. I mean, we're going to miss, we're going to miss this year Elijah and Connor. Uh, but, you know, we got Jalen Ray, we got Tariq Coburn, we got Isaac Santi coming back. And that's a great, you know, three returning starters. That's a great nucleus. You know, uh, we got a bunch of other guys that are ready to jump in there and, and, and make this team, uh, and I think, put this team in a position to possibly win another championship. So, Matt, so for Hofstra basketball, I mean, I, I hope they win the series every year. No, but uh, we got some good kids coming in, some good talent, some raw talent. And, you know, they're going to be in, fine, in great hands because, you know, coming back next year is Isaac, Kevin, Staff, Tariq, Jalen. You know, uh, Jay, like, and, you know, that core group, like, really understands each other. You know, the leaders out of that team, like, every, like Isaac gets everybody going. Everybody listens to the staff. Jalen plays hard all the time and nobody ever questions him. Like, and Tariq, you know, Tariq just brings energy and Kevin to, you know, the whole team is just, they, they just understand each other and not even trying to be corny. So I think they're going to get the freshmen going really well and, you know, it's going to be amazing. So I, I'm just excited to see whether they win next year or not. I, I hope they do, but I just, I'm excited to see them play. So I think they're going to be a fun team to watch.